Hello and welcome to this session. We will be using R. In this session, we will do the basic math calculations using R. That's to say, we'll be using R like a calculator. So how to go ahead with this? That's the agenda of our session. So are you excited? I'm super excited. Okay. R is one of the most powerful and happening statistical tools that's around. So let's lay our hands on it. Let's get dirty with R. Okay. Let's see. So now I'll open my R interface. Let's see how it looks like. This is my R interface. Okay. Now we learn how to make some basic math calculations. So remember, whenever you see this greater than, that is to say this is our input. Okay. And once you hit enter, you will start getting your output as simple as that. Okay. This is one of the simplest of all the features you can see. Now I wish to do, let us say, a simple math calculation like 3 plus 9 plus 12 minus e7 okay 3 plus 9 plus 12 minus 7 so i hit enter i get the output can you see that's 117 okay it's quite simple quite simple okay now let's do a bit more complicated task now let's see i give it the command 12 plus 17 by 2 minus 3 by 4 multiplied by let's say 2.5 okay it enter it gives you the answer right away isn't that interesting it's awesome powerful and simple that's the beauty of r okay let's do another calculation 12 plus 17 by 2 minus 3 by 4 close the parenthesis multiplied by 2.5 okay so i have my answer that is 49.375 right so understand one thing here r evaluates the parts in parenthesis first taking the division before the addition and subtraction okay so that's going to be quite important for us to remember lastly the result from the brackets is being multiplied by 2.5 to give the final result it is important to remember this simple order when doing long calculations so remember r calculates whatever is there within the parenthesis first one more interesting thing that you should note is R ignores spaces. So when you type your math expressions, there is no need to include them. In practice, however, it is helpful. Use them because it makes the commands easy to read and you are less likely to make a mistake. Okay, now let's do some other type of maths problems let's do some more interesting math now let's say i wish to do some calculations using pi okay now how do i input pi okay just simply type pi 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 that is 22 by 7 pi multiplied by 2 let us say I wish to do raise to the power. Okay, just put the symbol raise to the power of 3 minus let us say I wish to incorporate some square roots sqrt brackets. Let us say square root of 4. Okay, sqrt is nothing more or less similar to the way we use it in Excel. Okay, so now let's see what is the output of this complex calculation. Wow that's 23.13274 so quick so fast right let's find another calculation let us say 
abs abs is the command for absolute values okay so abs open parenthesis 12 minus 17 multiplied by 2 by 3 minus let's say 9 close parenthesis wow the answer 8.333333 isn't this simple and amazing? Let's do some more calculations. Let's now try to do a factorial. Okay. Now let's type factorial. This is the simple command for factorial. I'm trying to find factorial 8. Okay. Straight away. I get 40320. That's the factorial 8. Now let's do some logarithms. Okay. Now, different types of logs, let us say, I am using log, let us say, log, open parenthesis, 2 comma 10, close parenthesis, wow, you can see, log 2, okay, log, when I say log 2, comma something okay you have to understand logarithm of 2 to the base 10 okay so logarithm of 2 base 10 is 0 0.30103 okay that's quite simple let's do it in other way let us say log okay open parenthesis 2 comma base equals to 10 close parenthesis okay you have to be careful with this you get the same output okay so did you see the resemblance log 2 comma 10 means log 2 to the base 10 okay both are quite similar so let's do another thing let us say i want to find log 10 to the base 2 okay wow you can see okay this also means the same okay this is log 2 to the base 10 okay so these are different ways of writing the same thing now let's do a natural logarithm okay natural logarithm is base n okay now let's say you don't need to write n separately you just simply write log 2 it will by default calculate the logarithm of base n okay that's the natural logarithms okay now let's do some exponents okay now exponents is simple just type exp now let's say i wish to find exponents of a very complicated let us say 0 0.6931 6931 let's even go further let us add 472 okay Quite complex right just see wow see so the exponent of this is 2 straight away 2 okay so this is quite 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 interesting okay mm, can we do some logarithms again or it's done okay why to repeat now let's say yeah now let's say if I need to do some reverse logarithms okay now let's do how do we do reverse logarithms okay let us say 10 raised to the power 0 0.30103 can you guess what the value could be 2 right great okay now let's do some trigonometry okay let's try out some trigonometry let's say sign 45 multiplied by pi divided by 180 okay close the parenthesis hit enter wow you get your values okay now isn't this amazing so this is what the entire usage of r and basic mathematical calculations of r okay I hope you enjoyed this. You can keep practicing a lot. Just open your interface and start typing in the values. You just need to be a bit 
comfortable with your commands keep practicing you will become much familiar with this okay so you can get in touch with me on any of my social media you can follow me on linkedin on facebook on twitter you can also write to me directly at rajeshdurbala at gmail.com we have an organization let peace proliferate this is our facebook page that is www.facebook.com slash let p pro you can visit our page like our page we fight extremism both online and offline we do we are really doing a great stuff so render your support like our page comment below these videos i would love to listen to you thank you for paying attention hope to see you soon